Good morning. We are going to do a second part of our Friday catch up because we have got some really special children in year six, 30 of them in fact, but we have had to choose some children for our special year six awards. And we normally do this at night after mass, but things are a little bit different this year and we didn't want them leaving without their awards. So they're all laid out on the table and Mr. Hodder is here and he's going to help me to show who's won our award. So our first award is called Fantastic Friend. And this person will get their name engraved on the shield and then they get their own little one to take home. So, Mr Hodder, you have got some very special children in your class and I would say most of them are fantastic friends. But there's one person that stands out. Absolutely. It was really hard to choose this and all the teachers have been talking about this and thinking about this over the last couple of weeks. But we finally decided that our fantastic friend for this year would be... Jodie! So our next award is for sport and this is for somebody who's taken part in events at uh, Saltaire or Lancaster and Morton College or who just is has a really good sporting attitude. So I need to find the right one first. Sporting. Uh, sporting. Oh, yeah. So Mr Hodder, which person have you chosen for your sportsmanship? Well, we have a lot of great sports people in year six, but this award has gone to a girl this year. Uh, she is uh, um, an amazing athlete and has really, really um, surpassed herself. And we've gone to athletics, and this year the sport award goes to Ruby! <laughs> is called Good Spirit and this is for somebody who always has a really positive outlook on life no matter what happens they get on they're friendly they're happy they enjoy coming to school and they give as much as we give to them and this one is a really tricky one to award because pretty much all of year six could win Good Spirit but we felt that one person has stood out since they've been in reception in this school so Mr Hodder who has won our Good Spirit Award? Well, uh, I've only had the privilege of working with this person for a year, but this young lady has been uh, in Cathedral and made such an amazing journey, always in good spirits, despite facing lots of challenges along the way. And so our Good Spirit Award goes to Libby! <laughs> The next award is for courtesy, which is really lovely manners. Using polites and polites, please and thank yous, they are very polite. Holding the doors open and lots of other ways, showing lots and lots of respect. So this person is Mr Hodder. Well, the most respectful person I can think of, everyone would agree, always showing respect, always being polite, Jack. Now, we have got an award for showmanship and usually year six put on a wonderful performance down at Our Ladies and we sit and watch and just are inspired by children doing an amazing job of drama, speaking and listening and just generally being a good showman. So what we've done this year is we've had a think about back to the beginning of September and somebody who inspires others and is very dramatic, mm -hmm. likes doing role play, um, lots and lots of different drama techniques. Absolutely, and if I did this to my class, it would give it away because our Showmanship Award goes to... Norma! <laughs> our next award is... Positive Impact. And this is somebody who has a lot of enthusiasm who does lots and lots of wonderful things in school for the benefit of others. And really, this person pretty much lights up a room when he walks in. He's incredibly friendly. Even if you met him out of school, which I have during lockdown, he chats away. He's really, really enthusiastic. So... Well, this young man not been at Cathedral for as long as some of the other children. 
Uh, but I've only known him since I've been here and he is such a brilliant, positive impact everywhere he goes. And that is Joshua. And the next award, second to last, is for progress. Now this is where somebody has made a lot of change. It could be in how they were as a person and their confidence, but it could also be about things like acad about academic things. So I know this person, I taught this person, but this person, when they first started in reception and in key stage one, all the staff um, said they cannot believe how amazing his reading is and what progress he's made in his writing, as well as everything else. Who is it, Mr. Hodder? So, the uh, most all-round progress is Thomas! And the last one isn't a surprise, because we always have a head boy and head girl uh, engraved on our award and they will get a little one to take home to remember that they were head boy and head girl at Cathedral. So lots and lots of awards but I do want to say year six you have been an incredible year six you've all worked hard and if we had 30 awards we would give each and every single one of you and you will all be getting something from school at some point this next week. So thank you for watching and well done we'll give them a final clap.